It has gotten out across the internet that I am working on the idea of prototyping some gears for 633A transmissions that come out of Sears Suburbans and GT6000s. And it's true. That's what I'm working on. I'm also working on a product to sell. So I'll get into it why it is one item I'm going to sell and why one item I'm going to make the files available for free to everybody. So stay tuned to talk about that a little bit. On these 633As with the 6-bolt rear end, the go-to used to be to buy an extra axle gear and just drop it into the center in order to lock up the rear end. But these you basically can't find anymore. So what I did was I modeled that. I then modeled a new version. I then talked with several people in the mud mower community and the pulling tractor community in order to 3D print out an even better version. Which gives us this version. So if we lift this up and we set this aside... We now can see that what we've done is modified it so that we actually encompass way more than the original method did. So if I drop this gear into here, which let me know if you guys want the 3D print files for the gears also. I wasn't sure whether anybody would care about that, but... As you can see, it now encompasses all the way into this area on all three of those, thus tying in extra gears that were never tied in with the drop-in method. Extra teeth, I apologize. So I'm going to be doing a prototype run on these. I'll probably end up selling them for like 20 bucks through Etsy or something, plus whatever the shipping cost is. That'll be coming up next month. But the first thing we got to do is get it thrown together and beta test it just to double check first. But stay tuned for that. Now, on this setup here, the reason why these are going to get posted for free so that people can be able to download the file and be able to send it in to Send, Cut, Send and order their own is that the laser cutting is not perfect. It does have some monkey issues. Take this gear for example. This was me attempting to do it on the 3D printer. This is what the finalized gear off of the 3D printer looks like. And that goes on to here and slides in and clicks in to there and works beautiful. That first one took me three and a half hours worth of design and attempting to print. This is the file sent to Send, Cut, Send. I believe this one ended up costing me, I think it was about $12 to prototype. And if we go to slide it on, it slides right on, clicks in. It is a little bit on the loose side, but I'm going to bet it'll end up working once it's in place. But here's the problem. Let me come over to the light here. That looks beautiful. That does not. The laser cutting is not perfect past about a quarter inch thick, from what I can understand from everybody that I've spoken to. You can actually see it when you look on this. You can see how nice and pretty, and then it gets all wavy. See, nice and pretty, gets all wavy. It just passed about a quarter of an inch on this AR500. See, this one here, this is cut out of mild steel. And focus. See, this is mild steel I did as a spacer prototype. And it's way better. But the problem is, we need AR500. Oh, by the way, here. See if you can find my screw-up. I'll give you a hint. 
If you go through the effort to print an absolute beautiful sliding gear prototype, you should probably see if it actually fits on the shaft correctly. Speaking of sliding gears, these two are the same gear. As you can see here, if I grab this and I post it over the top. Now, up on Patreon right now should be a free posted download to be able to get this gear printed out at Send, Cut, Send. And it's got a giant hole in it. And the reason it has a giant hole in it is because it is this slide gear. See, this goes up and down. And that's how you end up with high and low gear in this transmission. And let me see if I can get this out without totally dismembering a finger while I'm talking to you guys. So this right here gets exploded off of these quite often. A lot of the pulling tractor guys have gotten a hold of me. So the fork piece goes down into this. So if we look at this right here, and that goes like that, and then it slides up and down on the shaft, okay? Obviously, this is not going to be happy on that shaft, and it's going to tear the shaft apart over time. Now, it's not to say that it doesn't fit, because it most definitely lines up and fits onto it just like so as you can see gears match up and stuff but yet again you can see that once it hits a certain point the laser goes wonky in the ar500 so what myself and an off-road friend of mine his name is george came up with george and i came up with the idea of what if you ordered one like this and this is the one that's currently up for a beta test to make sure that people can download it for free off Patreon. This is that cord. So that, in theory, you could take this, grind off all of this area here, and then weld directly onto here to be able to retooth this slide gear. And I think that's what we're going to run into with the slide gears, is that the only way to do them is probably going to be to retooth the gear and leave the slide. And that's part of the reason why it is I'm going to make the gears for free up on Patreon if they work and just sell my locker. As you might have also figured out from the name of the YouTube channel, I used to be a computer tech, and I'm a little bit of a hacker. And part of hacking is the fact that you don't want to pay the ludicrous, stupid prices for certain things. Briggs & Stratton head gasket in copper, for example. For the cheapest one I could find from a racing website, with their shipping cost, you can order two of them from send, cut, send, if you have the DX file to send in to them. I'm working on it. That'll also be up on the Patreon thing at some point, because I've had enough of the system. We're going to break the system, because I've watched these copper head gaskets go from being $10 to now, some people are charging $30 plus for a single one. And you can go on Send, Cut, Send and order one with the Dex file for 20 bucks. If you want to order 10 of them, you can knock it down to about $10 a piece, which I'm pretty sure is what all of those companies are doing, is just ordering these up at 10 bucks a piece and then charging you guys 30 and then charging you a handling fee of $10 because it's delicate. Because... These are not perfect. They're not the greatest solution in the world. But I looked up getting... Man, I tell you what. 
I looked up taking this one. This is yet again a piece of mild steel. And if you look at the cut through the mild steel, it's way better than the cut through the really thick AR500. I sent this in in order to find out if I could get these made like these. Because that's what this one is. This is this and this stacked together like so. But I sent in just this for a quote to several companies. And the cheapest quote that I could get was that they would only prototype 10 of them at $60 a piece, basically. Now, granted, they were very nice and they offered that if I wanted a run of a thousand of them afterwards, I could get the thousand at $20 a piece. But the cost of getting these prototyped in a run of 10 to be that type of synthered gear, compression gear, whatever you want to call it, or to have these CNC'd out is roughly anywhere from $60 to $80 a gear from what I can get for quotes. So I don't know. This is where I'm at with the project. I need to get them in here and get this thrown together so we can test it. But right now, I have all the stuff laid out in order to start working on the engine for the Sears Dragster. We've got a cheater stock build that we're putting in this along with fixing the front end. And we need this done in seven days. And I've basically got to slice the whole stupid front end off in order to fix it. And I've got to build the engine. And I've got to shoot all the YouTube video content that goes with it. Wish me luck on getting it done in seven days.